Hello guys, in today's video we are going to discuss the color prediction between the vertex cover problem in a graph to the half vertex cover problem. My videos depend on the wisdom of the crowd, a topic that really fascinates me. So if the information I provide is wrong, please let me know in the comment section below. Uh, I promise to read all comments and re-upload if necessary. Please subscribe to be notified of any new videos. Now, I explained in detail what the vertex cover problem is in uh, my previous video, but the half vertex cover problem, meh, isn't necessarily as famous. So imagine that if we remove a vertex from a graph, we are required to remove all edges connected to it. Therefore, the removal of a vertex cover set will make us remove all edges of the graph. Well, because um, a vertex cover set is connected to all uh, edges of, of the graph. On the other end, however, um, half vertex cover is a vertex set which connects to exactly half of the edges of the graph. Alrighty. So how can we convert the vertex cover problem to the half vertex cover problem, you may ask. Let's look at some graphs to gain some uh, intuition. The first idea that might uh, come to your mind is to duplicate the graph. Uh, let's see this. Okay, so for starters, um, if we are uh, taking this graph, for example, well, um, if we are removing the uh, vertex in the in the middle, we are going to remove uh, all edges. Therefore, uh, this particular graph has a, a full vertex cover of the size of one. In order to get half vertex cover, uh, we're going to uh, need to remove uh, two, two, um, two ver vertices. In any case, um, let's look on, on this graph. Okay, no, no one said that uh, the, the graph needs to be connected. So, as I said, the first idea that might come to your mind is to duplicate the graph. But under some scenarios, this solution will not yield um, the optimal solution. Let's show you this. Um, if we are duplicating the graph, Um, in order to uh, get half vertex cover, we're going to need to remove um, this vertex and this vertex. But uh, on the other end, if we are uh, if we are looking for a full vertex cover on the original graph, and then we uh, duplicate the graph to get half vertex cover, we're going to need uh, uh, three ver vertices. This one, this one, and this one. So this idea is not that great. A better solution would be to add a couple of vertices um, on each edge and connect them with an edge. Let's show you this. It, it is going to look like um, a dumbbell. All right. So the original graph has four edges. So we're going to add like four dumbbells. One, two, three, four. Now we got what, what we wanted. Um, we can look for a full vertex cover on the original graph, which is going to be of the size of three. This one, this one, and this one. Yeah, and there is, there is no way that the optimal solution would be by, by searching on, on the uh, modified graph because um, no matter uh, which vertex we, we are selecting from the, uh, the additional uh, graphs, this one, this one, and this one, and this one, um, we're not going to, uh, to get any profit. 
Okay, so now after we understood uh, the concept of our solution, let's proceed uh, to the uh, solution itself. Go. Given a graph G equals VE, an input to the vertex cover problem to build an input G tag equals V tag E tag for the half vertex cover problem. So G in VC, VC means vertex cover, if and only if G tag in half vertex cover. First direction. Assume the G in VC. Therefore, there is a set of vertices in G that touches all edges of the graph, according to the definition of vertex cover. Because the graph G tag has twice more edges than G and three times more vertices, that same set of vertices from the original graph G, that is a, ver a full vertex cover, is half vertex cover in the modified graph G tag. Second direction. Assume that G tag in half vertex cover. Therefore, the graph G tag has a set of vertices that cover exactly half of the edges of the graph. And due to the way we constructed G tag and that particular set of vertices are also vertices on the original graph G, now, in order to restore the original graph, let us remove all edges which are not covered by this set and all vertices connected to them. In other words, the set of vertices in graph G tag, which is half vertex cover, is a vertex cover in the original graph G, as required. In conclusion, we saw the G in vertex cover if and only if G tag in half vertex cover, and therefore there is a curve reduction from the vertex cover problem to the half vertex cover problem, and this is how you mark it, as required. Well, that's the story. I hope you learned something new from this video, and please comment below with your thoughts. First degree studies in university are all about social studies, and this project comes to encourage that, even through complicated situations most of us are going through right now. Thank you so much. Good luck.